Okay, um, I'm going to show you this just to give you an idea of the insanity that I am. Um, I have some impact weapons here. This is one of the most popular out there on the street. It's a Monondock PR-24, so I handle it with a baton. Um, this is actually modeled after a martial arts weapon called a Tafana. Um, the Tafana has a pierce different, but it's the basic same design. A baton with a side handle. You can use this to block your forearm. You can use it to get good reach out there. You can use it as a standard baton. And you can use this to hook and also provide more power. Uh, that trumball stop is just stop your hand. Okay, you can do the old spinning thing like so. Um, this is the older style baton. This was this was the former U.S. Army issue baton right here. Um, it's just a straight baton. It does have the lanyard. I'll talk to you about the lanyard real quick. Most people think the lanyard goes around your wrist and you grab pull, but it doesn't. Because if I pull, I can lock your wrist. What you do is you stick your thumb on there, wrap it around your hand, then the reason is if you take this, I just let go, and my hand will slip right on out. Now I can go to my weapon. Also you can do this cool trick with it. Let me get wrapped around like that. You can do that. Okay? All these weapons are these are also this is a called a baston. It's a martial arts weapon used in Skirmina or Calais. Um, what I'm about to demonstrate for you is dangerous. Don't try this at home. Don't drop it. I'm going to take my shirt off so you're going to have to bear with me. I'm a little chubby, but hey, you know, I'll look. At least I admit to it. You might see my forearm or my upper arm here. Nothing there. These things hurt a lot. Okay, I have taken full blasts with batons, the ASP, ASP collapsible, and Mondock PR24. These things hurt. I took my hits in the thigh. Then I'm gonna do it with my arm. I'm gonna do it to myself. If you don't believe I'm hitting hard, um, I don't. Know. I don't believe you. Just listen. Okay. First off. You know, it's not like I don't know what I'm doing with this thing. Okay? I can't believe I'm doing this. You must be able to see my arm. I'm going to hit right here. Let me adjust this. Bring this thing down a little bit for you. The reason I'm doing this is to demonstrate of what type of training uh, law enforcement and military do. The reason we take full hits is to know what it feels like. And if you're fighting with someone and I come up with my baton, I can just wail. See where that hit? Let me get my light out here. Better. See right there, that red mark? That's where it took the hit. Do one more. I'm trying to go a little bit higher. I'm trying to go up here in the shoulder. Okay. I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna do it closer. Hopefully, I can get close enough where you can hear it hit. Okay, it does hurt. You can see the red marks now, or I've hit. Um, yeah, these things hurt. Don't let anybody fool you. Um, this is burned or tan, very lightweight, but it still hurts. You can, not yet, but it will, it will wear you up. It will welt up on you.